Herpes on arm is a contagious viral infection. It is typical amongst individuals that play high contact sports activities like wrestling. When the herpes simplex virus 1 goes into the body, it lives there permanently. While there's no cure for an HSV1 infection such as herpes on arm, the infection usually lies inactive, thus there are periods when the individual has no signs and symptoms. When the virus reactivates and symptoms flare, the infection is most likely to transmit to another individual by means of skin-to-skin -skin contact. Signs and Symptoms The signs of herpes on arm vary from one person to another. HSV-1 may enter any portion of the body, and also the infection could be particularly dangerous if it develops in the eyes. Symptoms have the tendency to become noticeable within eight days of the virus entering the body. They can consist of, a fever, swollen glands, a sore throat, sores, or even blisters, which could be painful, a tingling sensation in the affected area, a headache. Without treatment, the sores, or even blisters typically take 7 to 10 days to clear. While signs are actually noticeable, the infection is more transmissible. The pattern of flare-ups differs from one person to another. Signs and symptoms of herpes on arm might flare once a month or even once a year, for instance. When the virus is actually inactive, the individual has actually no signs. This is no guarantee that the infection can't pass on, however it is much less likely to do therefore during this time. Complications HSV-1 typically triggers blisters like cold sores to form on the skin. Germs might go into these blisters triggering a secondary infection. Within this particular case, prescription antibiotics might be required. Without treatment, the bacterial infection might infect other areas, like the brain, eyes, liver, or even lungs. If this happens, it is a clinical emergency situation, and also the individual needs immediate treatment. Causes and Risk Factors HSV-1 Transfers via Skin-to-Skin -skin Contact Herpes on arm generally passes between individuals taking part in high-contact sports, like wrestling, rugby, or even basketball. The virus may also transfer via kissing, if a single person has a cold sore, sex-related contact, sharing product like drinks, utensils, and also mobile phones. Likewise. Periods of illness and also stress can easily trigger herpes flare-ups. While many people go for long periods without having any type of symptoms, flare-ups may occur at any moment. A physician may suggest precautions to avoid transmission, and also this is particularly crucial for individuals that routinely participate in contact sports. Diagnosis to tell whether an individual has herpes on arm, a physician first visually examines any type of blisters or even sores on the arms. This may be actually all that is necessary. Sometimes, they might also order a blood examination. An individual with the virus has specific antibodies in their blood that can easily indicate the existence of HSV-1. In various other situations, a physician might take an example of the affected skin and also send it off for evaluation. If an individual has various other signs of herpes on arm but no sores, it is still best to prevent skin-to-skin -skin contact and also see a physician, that might order a blood examination for the virus. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for my upcoming herpes treatment videos.